So I got lured in by your uh, V12 LS engine. Right. So what, what are you trying to show that your engine uh, tuning computer is what runs it then? Yeah, yeah, this, uh, this company, they're from Australia. They're, uh, they took two, two uh, LS, GM LS engines and kind of grafted them together. Right, right. Um, just to prove that, uh, you know, that there was a market for it, that it could be done, etc. Uh, now they're going to be casting the V12 blocks and V12 heads. Okay. Um, and yeah, they, since it's a company from Australia, we're a company from Australia, they naturally chose us as uh, engine management. So they do, uh, they offer everything from uh, engine builder kits where they just ship, ship you uh, a block and, uh, and heads and the cam and the crank and then you know, you, it's up to you to put pistons and valve tray components and stuff like that in it. Um, all the way up to a turnkey drop-in setup with a Haltech ECU, a full custom wiring harness. Uh, okay. You know, ready to go engine. So, so tell me about what the, the Haltech ECU could do then. So uh, in this configuration it's running, uh, since it's a 12-cylinder engine, uh, this particular ECU has eight injection outputs and eight ignition outputs. Yeah. So it's running a uh, semi-sequential and a waste of spark fashion. Um, so does that mean that spark, the spark is firing when the, the piston is not in the... Correct, yeah. It's, uh, it's firing the on the exhaust stroke as well. It's firing, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's okay. For the, for the opposing cylinder, yeah. Which isn't a big deal. Um, a lot of OEM stuff does that anyway. So. Yeah, that's how my jet ski works. It fires all three... Uh, cylinders at the same time, same regardless time. of what yeah. phase the uh, cycles in or whatever. Yeah. So, but so you know, you're, I'm assuming you're able to adjust uh, timing, obviously. Yeah, fuel, uh, fuel, fueling, timing. Um, it'll also do boost control, uh, yeah. nitrous control. You pick your power adder, it, it'll take care of it. Um, also, okay. does some other chassis type stuff. So, if you got like nitrous, it'll right. retard the timing, right? Yeah. When you hit the nitrous yeah, button, add, or... yeah, add fuel, retard timing, yeah, do it all that seamlessly. Okay. Is there anything in there for controlling like variable valve timing? Yep. Oh, there is. It's all available as well. Yeah. Um, it'll do up to four cams, um, so uh, exhaust and intake uh -huh. on a uh, banked engine. Okay. So you, you got this engine set up here. It looks like it's like if you wanted to, you could start it. I mean, obviously not indoors here, but I see you got a radiator on it and a battery and a starting motor. So, have you guys ever, you know, have you, have you demoed this outside or? Uh, not no? this particular model. So no? Okay. Like, just peek behind the curtain. This one actually doesn't have a crank in it. So oh, no? This okay. This was a uh, last minute crew together for PRI last year. Yeah. Uh, we do have a running model at the uh, at the office. That's just, it's sitting in a crate and it showed up like two weeks ago. Oh, really? So, yeah, that I can one only will imagine. be on the stand and ready for PRI. We'll be there. I probably will in Indianapolis next yeah, month, we'll, I think. Yeah. We'll, we'll try to start that. Oh man, I got to go now just so I can hear this beast <laughs> run. But so tell me about. Yeah, so you got a throttle on here and then like a uh, dashboard. What what are you showing with that? Yeah, so it's a uh, you know, drive-by wire setup. So of course, uh, you know, this house allows you to actually play with the throttle. You can hear it moving in there. Uh -huh. um, oh, I see. So it's an electric motor in there that's turning yeah. the throttle blade. Not, okay. And it's just something for people to play with. But uh, shows the dash and you know, the uh, functionality of it. Okay, so is your system like typically for people doing engine swaps and they, they don't have the time to monkey around with getting the original dash to work, so they buy one of yours then? And to yeah, yeah, so um, all the ECUs are all like universal, right? So they, they can go with pretty much anything. So, uh, like you said, it's, it's very good uh, applications for uh, engine swaps and stuff like that. Yeah. We do have layover harnesses, uh, pre terminated harnesses for uh, the most popular type of engine swaps uh, LS series, GM LS series, the uh, Coyote from Ford, uh, 2JC, 13B Monster. We're going to do a full So, uh, a lot of different applications. You can pretty much boil it through that one. Basically, you would use a standalone ECU like if you uh, kind of sort uh, of out of the room right now. Or, in the case of an engine swap where the factory ECU is uh, not what you have right now, it's not a chassis. Okay. So, everything's integrated. And I've also heard of one company, Steve by uh, Dinah or Dina, whatever his name is. Um, in one of his videos, he was saying that like when a new engine comes out by, from BMW, it takes a while for the, the tuners to learn how to crack the software and all. So he had developed his own type of engine management software too. So that's, I guess that's probably something you guys could do too. If a brand new engine comes out and you know the tuners haven't figured out how to hack into it and change the parameters, you could get one of your systems. Yeah, yeah. 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 If the uh, factory uh, ECU is just not tonable, uh, yeah. uh, not reflashable at all, then yeah, that's, that's right. the next step. Right. Specifically, yeah. 
ones that do not actually Okay, well, cool stuff. Thank you for your time, man. Just get it. Yeah. It is funny, four to be integrated with the Wow. pretty sweet, though. Yeah. And it's real cool. Pretty hot. Pretty sweet, dude. Like, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 480 in stock form. 